and you can see it there. Obviously, it's widening as that thing continues to implode. Really, a lot going on. It is. Mm -hmm. Hello, Matt. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. going on here? We got some rain on the way, don't we? No volcano warning. <laughs> sure. no, I don't sure? think. Hang on. No, and then make sure. Some red well, over you know here. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Okay. It, it, well, even my boyfriends in Taiwan, they mm -hmm. had an earthquake there last night. Oh yeah. my gosh. There's a lot going on. A lot in the going world. on this past weekend. Afghanistan Seattle. had Afghanistan one too. Afghanistan had an earthquake. What? So did you sleep at all when he called about that? He told me this morning, so it was a little too late. Smart but yes. man. Yeah, he Smart told man. me a few she hours been up. later. She wouldn't have been. She would not have been able to sleep after that. <laughs> You're all good, but yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about uh, regarding our weather, though. No volcanoes. As of right now, no earthquakes. Uh, I, I can predict no volcanoes. Can't quite predict no earthquakes. It has happened before. Uh, we look at the live radar, and as we've been first learning you to all week long, a bit of a mess on the way. So I want to take this kind of piece by piece. The first uh, being a warm front pushing through. Today, I woke up this morning, clear skies, a little cold. Temperatures got in the mid to low 30s for some areas this morning, but opened up to just a beautiful fall day. And we never expected we had a 20% chance of rain in the forecast for today because we expected the day to be dry before the rain came in uh, later on this evening. And all of this is right along a warm front. And there's kind of three pieces that will bring us the rain. The warm front initially, a cold front, and then the low pressure system. So where's that cold front located? We zoom this map back out. It's going to be back up here, wrapped up with this low pressure system that's going to be coming off the Rockies and moving to the east. Doesn't look like much right now, uh, but a good soaking coming over the next couple of days. So the cold front set to come in on Friday will look something like this. You got the red indicating the warm front, but right along that boundary is where more rain will be coming through with this low pressure system. Notice how far north and west the rain continues. So this is going to be part one coming through tonight. It's going to be part two coming through Friday night and then through the weekend with this low pressure system. Some of that wrap around moisture like what we had this past weekend will start to come through. So let's go ahead and look at the future track, kind of a wide perspective. And then in about 15 minutes, we'll go hour by hour a little bit closer to home. So warm front pushes through. This is Thursday at 6 p.m. Uh, the highest rain chance will be late tonight, early Thursday morning. As we go through our Thursday, that warm front's going to push to the north and they'll start to pick up that next cold front. Cloud cover in and across the area on Thursday night, Friday, and even into Saturday. Cold front is going to be right here. This is Friday at 9 a.m. Starts to work through Friday around the evening commute. But as I mentioned, there's three parts to it, which is going to be this low pressure system counterclockwise rotation will bring this rain down to our area Friday night into early Saturday morning and then just kind of linger. So the cold front comes through by Saturday at 1 a.m. See that strong low pressure system rotating, dragging some of the rain back in and across the area Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. That goes with some cooler temperatures as well. So a lot of talk regarding that rainfall. Rainfall totals uh, could easily be up near an inch by the time it's all said and done, possibly closer to two inches of rainfall. 66 in Mishawaka, Michigan City. Beautiful blue sky there, 61 degrees. Across the area, we're in the mid-60s, and with the warm front on the way, I'm not expecting a frosty night tonight. Uh, we've had some reports of some patchy frost through Knox, Francisville, uh, Rochester. Temperatures right now near 70 degrees with that front coming in from the south to the north. Okay. You talked about it. It's, I mean, that's much warmer than what we're talking about the last few days. It's been cool out there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're flipping the script to talking about patchy frost this morning into torrential downpours wow. the next couple of days. Just like that. All right, thank you. And with that and with what we were saying mm -hmm. earlier, you know, natural disasters, mm -hmm. poor air quality. Yeah. yeah. It has a 